Okay, do me a favor and go throw out your white claw and try some canned kava instead. You're gonna be a lot happier and a lot healthier. <laughs> All right, I got this can of kava candy from Mitra 9 Brands. I got the candy flavor because, I mean, it sounds delicious and kava tastes pretty gross usually. So, 283 milligrams of kava extract. That sounds pretty strong to me. I really like the colors on this one too. They had an orange creamsicle. Um, I thought about getting that one, but I don't know, I'm a sucker for pink. Not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be, but that's a good thing. <laughs> kind of tastes like a LaCroix, but a little bit sweeter. So, kava taste isn't there, and it's pretty good to me. Kava is like a really good uh, substitute for alcohol. Uh, I use it for chronic pain, uh, I use it for anxiety, it's good for a lot of things. What is kava? Um, kava is the root of a pepper plant, and uh, it kind of gives you a numbing feeling in your mouth. It feels like uh, more relaxing. It's not like a crazy drug. It's like in the herb category, so uh, not sponsored, but you know, I love supporting the Kava community and I think that it's a great thing. Uh, you know, drinking this is a lot better than your White Claw. I'll tell you that much. Um, I'm six years sober. Um, I actually got sober before I found out about Great and Kava, but it's helped me to maintain my sobriety. I think that people should be drinking it all over the world, and more people need to know about it. Definitely not the best tasting thing in the world, so if you're into kava and don't like the mud water, some of these sodas out now are like the best alternative. So first thing, the plant is used as a sedative, anesthetic, euphoric, um, all those things are definitely what kava is about. Okay, it's been about like 15-20 minutes since I started drinking this kava. I just wanted to come back and tell you the effect that it's giving. Um, it's pretty strong. I'm already feeling relaxed, a little numbness in my mouth. Um, it's pretty normal for kava if you haven't tried it. Um, but it just gets you more relaxed and gets you feeling good for the day. So who doesn't love that? Um, if you don't know, I've got fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis and a really messed up spine. Um, I don't get that many hours of the day, so when I can wake up and have kava and kratom, and it gives me more hours of being able to do things, I mean, it's the best thing I could have ever asked for. If you don't know what kava is, follow my page. I'm going to be talking about it a lot, along with kratom and other herbs. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.